and this is the second video for today and just looking at some mixed species forest and to give a point of reference that track is Dutchman's track and this is the Barjag Road but one of the things I've seen happen lately is green groups or environmental groups will take a picture or do a video clip even of, of this forest here which is actually a pine forest and years ago yes it would have been native forest and I remember when this was pine trees too for the first rotation at least but they'll take a picture of this and say well this is what big forests are doing or this is what the native forest timber industry uh, they're clear felling this forest and they're not leaving any seed trees and they're destroying the forest but actually this is a pine forest that's at least on its second rotation Trying to see which way the rows are going. So the rows are probably going straight up that way. And as I say, you know, there's a big old hardwood tree that would have been pushed over all those years ago when they first planted it to pine. But it's probably worth noting that a pine forest will be mature for clear fall at somewhere between 25 to 30 years. Whereas a native forest can be selectively logged, you know, even if you said every 20, 30 years, but you're getting a lot more off a higher altitude, higher rainfall pine forest up here in the state forest than you are off native forest. And that's why all those years ago, the decision was made to establish a softwood forest industry and it's going over there there's there's a fairly mature pine forest i know it's been thinned maybe even thinned twice so these are all things that i think we really need to think about when we're saying we'll ban all logging and ban ban forestry um, these trees will grow up to provide house, housing timber and, and pulp. Anyway, it will continue up into the higher elevation and higher productivity hardwood forest.